Just another thing to show you when it comes to working with the tab content. When it comes to setting up the layout, what you can also do, it, it really doesn't make a difference, is you can uh, change the um, the menu and the content so around. So normally you'd have the tab at the top for the menu and the content at the bottom, but the um, same applies when we did the um, elements here where we had the images across the bottom. That was just a simple um, swapping of the, and you'll see here we just moved the tab menu to the bottom and and the content at the top. It really doesn't matter. You can mix them around. Um, that applies to you know any wherever the elements are applied. So uh, that could also apply here. For example, if we scroll to the top, and uh, let's take this section here where we have the images on the left and the content on the right. If you wanted to swap that around, so we'll head up here to that section. And then if you wanted to swap it around, you can just move it around. Now you have the tab content on the right hand side. So we'll save that. Um, it's really, they are quite interchangeable. So if we refresh the page now, now you have the content on the right hand side and the update happens on the left. So these elements can be moved, just dragged and dropped in to move from the left to the right, from the right to the left, to above content. If you want it below, just drag below the content. And these elements here, we use the absolute position to position them on the page. So yeah, you can um, mix and match the, the layout and design quite a bit. Uh, the other thing to maybe have a look at if we're looking at the content, for example, and if we're just going to look at images, um, sometimes the layout here in the back, because the content's not pulling through, so you can see the images, but you can't actually see the physical content. Um, that was just uh, one thing that I noticed as well. Um, over here, we use the, the image um, inside the um, as a content element, but that can also be replaced as an image. So you can um, replace that with the image, and then everything kind of works in the same way. And then that image, uh, then over here, you would then have more options when it came to the image. So, for example, setting the size. Um, Right, well, the object will fill and then link to, um, you could change that to light box. So now you could use this as a kind of like a gallery element. So I think that should do it. Let's save that. And then we'll just head over to the website and have a look. Um, right, so that's saved. Let's refresh the page. And um, right, so the, oh, I didn't assign featured image to that image. So the image, and because this dynamic data was just featured image, right? Okay, now that will work. And we're going for the large size. So, okay, so now when we refresh, the image will be back. Right, so now. Um, not sure which uh oh, there we go so there you can see you'll be able to then use your images as gallery images if you do decide to do it that way so you can create yourself um, a little bit of a gallery uh, that is also going to be possible um, and that's quite easy then if you use the image element um, for the content so yeah that that can work quite nicely if if you want a gallery and then it's just pulling through the featured image from the post that you've assigned to this dynamic content just a thought well i hope you found that um, useful thank you for watching